many new team members and so many people in the room that never got a chance to really hear the passion of Stone Sun. We've heard some stories here and there, but to really understand what he created in the climate he created it in, he was more than a man. He really was. Mr. Stone Cypher was the, the son of sharecroppers. You have poor, you have working class, you have poor, you have dirt poor, you have gutter poor, then you got sharecroppers. And he went from there to build an institution that wasn't meant to make him wealthy, but to make other, what he created has already created 187 other million. Mm. We have all been in car accidents. He took that and said something needs to be done, not for me, but for the country. Matter of fact, let's throw Canada in there too. Mm. And he made it happen. You think people give you a hard time about legal shield now? You think people tell you legal shield don't work now? People don't need lawyers now? Try in 1972. It wasn't even pre people was worried about the name change to legal shield. That's not our first name change. We did not start off as prepaid legal. We started off as sportsmen's motor club. <laughs> the original name of our company was the Sportsman's Motor Club. Because all we pretty much offers was the vehicular element. Because that's what he was worried about. And then it grew and it matured into something amazing. What stood out to me most was what, not just what he did for finance. Because he created the first true meritocracy, where I will be paid based off of my merit, not based off of my age, not based off of my race, not based off of my culture, not based off of my education level, not based off of if people like me or not. I'm not Harold Branch the 25-year-old poet from Chicago. I was 111-728853. And if that associate number sold a membership, that associate number got paid. And they told me exactly how to get paid. This was the fairest company i ever seen in my life. That's why I committed my life to it. I asked, I said, where does the money go? How does it really work? You know how it was explained to me? When somebody pays for a membership, a third goes to corporate, about a third goes to the law firm, and about a third goes to the sales force. I said, well, that's fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> daughter would have did that. It's three of us and six Skittles. You get two, you get two. <laughs> it doesn't have to be complicated. You can actually build a fair corporation that doesn't crush people to make money. That doesn't make money off people, but make money with people. And if you don't make money, there's some things you need to work on. Yeah. It's not because we, sh we shut you out. What he did for race relations is second to none. First of all, I never knew that there were white sharecroppers. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Anytime anybody talk about sharecropping, they got a permanent tail. <laughs> I didn't know y'all was sharecropping too. That's something else we could have talked about. <laughs> History of trying to divide us. That's true. Not giving us the full story. That's right. mm -hmm. So that blew my mind. It blew my mind. It blew my mind 
how he put the 24-hour access in place. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if you know the story behind that. There was a legal case based off of a Haitian immigrant named Abdullah Louis in New York. He was a cab driver who was brutally assaulted by police officers. It made national news <coughs> to those who cared enough at the time. He was beat so severely, he was violated with a plunger hand. So terrible. And when he was in the hospital, a nurse finally said, you should talk to a lawyer. You really should. This isn't right. And that's how it became national news. There's a member of uh, 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 the black community who was very prestigious at the time, an intellectual named Tony Brown of Tony Brown's Journal. Tony Brown was also a prepaid legal member, an associate. The conversation came up with Mr. Stone Cycle. We have this amazing legal service and access to lawyers. Something needs to be put in place because police brutality is destroying some communities. Regardless of what, if everybody agrees it exists or not, there are people being hurt from other people overstepping their boundaries as authority figures. And Mr. Stone Cypher did something that nobody else has been able to do. He didn't march about it. He didn't try to convince government to do something. He didn't try to change a law. He said, we are going to take action as a group. Mm -hmm. And he put in place a 24-hour access to an attorney. It is the only action that has ever been put in place to truly prevent police brutality. Mm -hmm. And something curious occurred. Something amazing happened after that. When this was put in place, guess what? It wasn't just immigrants calling. Right. It wasn't just people of color calling. No. It was women calling. Yes. It, was, it was white men calling, feeling like they were being taken advantage of. So it matured, and we found out this is an issue, once again, across racial lines, right. across culture lines. It was something else that brought us together. When I was at those conventions, and I saw, I met individuals who had never met another black person in their life. Mm. They were from Wyoming somewhere, and they never, the only thing they knew was what they saw on TV. And what you see on TV ain't good. So when they saw me at my first few conferences with braids, if all they got is television, they may have their assumptions. But because we have individuals like Darnell Self, it, I mean, it went from I see you and I cross the street to I see you, you could be the next Darnell on my team. How you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> we got to get over race for the common goal of hitting platinum and getting the ring. Yes. So instead of me ignoring white community that I may not talk to, the Latino community, Spanish, Hispanic community I may not talk to, I see them as the next Ray Rios. Yes. So I'm not dealing with stereotypes. I'm like, you're just not polished yet. That's all right. We're going to work that out. I'm going to get you to the next level. It's going to be okay. Because I don't want one, my organization to look like one group of people. Legal Shield did that. Legal Shield moved us past that. Legal Shield has things to example of that. Yes, yes, yes. From his spirituality to the way he deferred to his wife. He never walked on stage without his wife right there. Yeah. I thought that was the classiest gentleman move back. Yeah. He walked on stage with his lady. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then he give his, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so much. I'm going to stop. But let me say, Mr. Stone Cipher is a hero. And the stuff he went through to keep this company in play, we wasn't always debt free. He talked about selling his wife's furniture. He never said his furniture. He always said my wife's furniture. So that means it was some conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and she was amazing. She was a pillar. She had, she still is. She still is. She is, she was his rock. He would not be who he 
is without her. Without a doubt. So we honor, we just honor them so much. What I want to do, I want to invite a couple individuals just to just share. Because it's important that you know your legacy. This is your bloodline. I don't care who your platinum is. And we, of course, we have teams. You, you got to nurture your team element. That's how you get your goals. By like creating team culture and things like that. And some, some of us are important part of big teams. But guess what? We're all a Harlem's team. That's right. That's right. We know that, and we run that ball. Hearts are broken today. It really is. But we'll talk about how to live the legacy. Mm -hmm. and how do we honor a hero? The first Avenger. Mm -hmm. right? The first Avenger was a Captain America. Right. The first Avenger was Harvest Stone. So, so I'm going to invite Mr. Reed. Would you mind? I'm going to invite Mr. Reed and a couple other individuals to just come and share. Um, so you can get a concept of the heart of Mr.